Yeah, it's Catch Pet Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. So today we're going to be reacting to something a school teacher said, and this is going major viral right now. And I'm not going to get into what she said. I'm just going to play it and let her explain. And then we'll come back and discuss. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. Listen to Pound Town and Ski Ye. Your daughters, your five year old daughters are asking, Can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, Can we hear Pound? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane, insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. We do freeze dance. You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where's the parenting? Horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town. <sighs> Man, that was hard to watch. Very hard. <sighs> um, I think we've been saying this for a long time. Uh, I've been saying that there's a crazy agenda being pushed, and I know I'm going. I know I'm gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. But the sexual liberation and the feminist movement is a bunch of bullshit. This whole narrative that you could do no wrong if you were female is a bunch of bullshit. And this is the reason why you get videos like this where a person who really cares and probably was raised in a good home, or maybe she was just raised right. You know what I'm saying? And she's so scared for these young girls out here because they're getting younger and they're getting more promiscuous. So that, like we could talk about the young men killing each other or shooting each other. We could talk about that because that happens. And that's another uh, agenda being pushed. But for the, for the females, this is the, the other agenda that's being pushed for them. So if you go on knock off black men, this way, you're going to knock off black women this way. Keep us away from each other. So, okay, you don't you don't want to um, reproduce? Well, guess what? It's fun to play with guns and do this over here. And it's fun to do this over here. But y'all can't come together. This is the situation that we in. So when she said that she was crying about five-year-old girls wanting to hear ski eat in pound town. I could absolutely understand that because that is unheard of. These kids mm -hmm. are trying to hear stuff that they know nothing about. It's because mm -hmm. it's being told to them and taught to them. Even if people say, well, how is it being taught to them? Well, you can teach somebody something without really doing nothing. They could just watch you. Mm -hmm. That's teaching just you know not deliberately it's kind of like having a gun at the house and playing with the gun and you ain't really sure your kid how to play with the gun you ain't uh -huh. seen then next thing you know the kid picked up the gun and shoot somebody with it like i'm trying to be like my dad pow pow pow, 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 pow. Mm -hmm. you know how he's like cops and robbers and cowboys and indians yeah, yeah. same thing but this sexual liberation for these for these young ladies when they turn 18, 19, 20, 
they still kids and these babies are having babies and they're teaching them the same thing. It's like, oh, they think it's cute when their daughter is twerking. I seen a girl, she was teaching her daughter how to pole dance. I think I seen that. Six year old daughter, how to pole dance. Yeah. So, oh, mommy does this for a living. So, I'm going to teach you. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. It, it it just it just goes back to what we had said um, a few videos ago. Where's the morals? Where are the morals at? There's no morals no more. There's no morals in the household. There's no morals out there in the world. Period. There's no morals. And you got somebody who's literally pouring her soul out. And telling you this is what happens with the young girls nowadays. And everybody thinks it's a, it's a joke. Y'all think this is a game. Y'all playing with fire. Y'all keep playing around with fire. Y'all are slow burning your race, community, whatever with behaviors like this. There ain't no way in God's green earth I'm list, let my listen my uh my daughter listen to Pound Town. I don't care. I don't care what these rappers believe in outside of what they putting out because uh, mind you, mind you, the music that they promoting and they're putting out towards you and I'm not I'm talking about the females. The music they pull out and put putting out towards you, I promise you, I promise you, down the line, down the line, if they still pumping that type of music out, they're not acting in those behaviors no more. So now they didn't already adulterated you, but now the behaviors they don't even exhibit anymore because they already real jaw in. So y'all gonna take over and then you're just gonna sit back and watch. This is the way it is. And they're gonna keep doing that too because y'all gonna keep believing in that. Y'all gonna keep doing it. Y'all gonna keep letting your, your kids listen to all that type of filth. Ain't no way I'm letting my daughter listen to that stuff. No way. I'm like, yo, my daughter, you want to listen to rap? You listen to me rap. Listen to me. You ain't listening to none of that other stuff. Because you know what? I got a message behind what I say. There ain't no message behind Pound Town. And I'm not, listen, man, look, look. I don't care, man. No. It's a no, no. No, no, no. I mean, a lot of rappers... Like I said, they're responsible to a certain extent. But it all falls on the parents. Mm -hmm. And you got to police what your kids listen to. Mm -hmm. And if you okay with your kids listening to Pound Town, you know that uh, you know what it means and you still let them listen to it. I got to question your parenthood. I don't care. Yeah. If you still listen, if you if you know what Pound Town mean, and you still let your five year old daughter hear it and sing it, and you know what it means, knowing that that is not for an adult, it's so much I could say about that, but I'm not gonna say it because I know that this video will get flagged. But either way, we out of here, man. Sketchpad. See y'all. Peace.